Reason is man's only faculty for perceiving reality. Reason is the only means by which man can achieve knowledge of reality. And by reason, of course, I mean the faculty which perceives, identifies, and integrates the material provided by man's senses. Therefore, reason is man's faculty for perceiving reality. But reason does not work automatically. Men have to decide, will, to think and to perceive. Men can uh, receive sensory data or integrate uh, uh, sensations into perceptions automatically. But they cannot form conceptions. They cannot form abstractions automatically. That has to be evolutional function of man's consciousness. And since most men, guided by their philosopher, do not wish to think, and they consider thought and reason either dangerous or impotent or too much of an effort, most human cultures, with very rare exceptions, have been ruled by what I call witch doctors. Oh. And a witch doctor is any man who takes his emotions, not his thinking, but his emotions, as his tool of cognition and his guide to reality. He functions by means of faith. He uh, acts on the basis of blind beliefs, which in fact are nothing more than his wishes. Mm. He is guided by his wishes, by his whims, which he takes as a guide to reality. No matter on what level of culture you observe him, that type of man is a witch doctor in the sense of his psychoepistemology, of the way he uses his mind. And since he has to deal with other men, since on the ground of emotions no one can deal with reality nor with people, the natural ally of the witch doctor will always be the type I call Attila. Mm -hmm. That is uh, the primitive, savage, tribal chief, the man who acts only on the range of the moment, on his immediate sensory perceptions, who is contemptuous of and refuses to consider ideas, principles, or abstractions, and whose way of dealing with reality and with other men is by means of brute force. Attila is either the gangster, or the dictator, or the military conqueror, or any man who believes that force is practical. Any man who refuses to think and wishes to loot, enslave, or force others. All through history, all major cultures, with very few exceptions, were ruled by an alliance of the man of faith, that is the witch doctor, with the man of force, which is the Attila. The witch doctor provided the goal and the values and the moral sanction for Attila to enforce in the world. And in today's world, you see the same phenomenon in allegedly civilized terms, but the essence remains the same, a dictator, which is the Attila, a man like Khrushchev, and his political theories, the modern leftist, liberal, socialist intellectuals, who are philosophically Attilaists. They, in effect, provide an allegedly non-mystical moral justification, a philosophical justification for Attila and for the rule of brute force. I call them the neo-mystics, because they are as much against the validity of reason as were the original jungle witch doctor.